Okay, my kiddos, it's very nice uh, getting back to you again. Uh, we did the first uh, video for class. Now we're gonna do a little bit of conditioning and I have Mary with me and Danny. And Danny has been working in, uh, in uh, uh, you know, uh, in conditioning for a while now. And we are going to we put together a little bit of uh, a sequences that we want you to follow, to be strong from the inside out. It's very simple. We, uh, Dan is going to explain you, Mary is going to show you. I want you to follow this as your level demands. Dan is going to tell you exactly how many for the group and uh, for the, uh, the level that you are, okay? How complicated we will make this. This is another video <clears throat> that goes together with the video in class. So this plus the class should be a workout every single day. Thank you very much. Well, hi, uh, nice to see you again. Uh, this time we're gonna uh, give a series of exercises to work what is the core and the legs. Easy workout, it's not gonna be anything out of the world or anything complicated, just so you can do it from your houses with your own body and your own control so you can get that rust out of your body, okay? So first, um, we won't have, we won't need um, ankle weights unless you are an advanced student and you're strong enough to use it and maybe the exercises that we do won't be as hard and as intense as you would like to be. For the little kiddos, ankle weights are um, optional, okay? So first, we're gonna start with the plank. Mary, please. Okay, before starting the exercise and putting the timer, the timer is gonna be from 30 seconds to one minute and 30 seconds. It depends on your level. It depends on your age, okay, and your capacity. So, before starting, we need to make sure upper back is engaged, shoulders are pushing down against the floor, hips are to engage, and butt are pressing one to another. Your legs are together, okay? Your belly button is in, almost feeling like you're putting your belly button in your back, okay? So we're gonna hold this position from 30 to one minute and 30 seconds. One minute is another option, okay? And this we're gonna do it from two to three sets. Feel free to do four or five sets. It depends on your capacity. Okay, so second variation for the plank exercise. Mary, please. Now in this variation, we're gonna make hip twists for our obliques, okay? So, Mary, please. One and one, okay? Now, see how Mary keeps her upper back engaged her shoulders pushing down. The only thing that is moving is the half of your torso down to your heels, okay? Now, make sure that your abdomen is always engaged, okay? You're gonna trace a line from your neck all the way to your legs. And in that same line, you're gonna try to put your hips when you twist. This is gonna be, okay, Mary, you can rest. This is gonna be an exercise where you can do from 10 to 30 repetitions from three to four sets, it depends on your capacity as well. Feel free. So, third variation for our plank exercise. Mary, please. In this case, we're gonna work a little bit more of what it is your buttocks, glutes, or hamstrings, okay? So, each leg is gonna hold 10 seconds in the air, in the plank. After those 10 seconds, we're gonna change the leg, down there, up, 10 seconds, down Mary, and now we're gonna make it a little bit more dynamic. One up, and down, up, and down. 10 repetitions, okay? Mary, you can rest. Now, we're gonna use the chronometer to see how many seconds we're holding. Depends on your capacity. Again, if you wanna do 10 seconds, if you wanna hold 20 seconds, it depends on your own, uh, um, I'll leave it to your own judgment. Okay, um, the ones that are up and down, you can do from 10 to 20 repetitions. You're already holding um, a good amount of time, so you shouldn't do a lot of exercises and try to keep it in the same digits of seconds that you do the, the whole, um, the isometric hold uh, exercise or movement in the single leg, okay? This is gonna be from two to three sets. Maybe four, maybe five, you decide. Okay, fourth and last variation of our plank exercises, this one right here in specific is recommended only for the advanced group. 
Kiddos, take it easy. You're gonna get to that level soon, okay? Keep working hard. Now, Mary. This one is gonna um, start in a push up stand, okay? We're gonna raise our favorite arm and the opposite leg. We're gonna hold it two seconds and bring it down. The same with the other side. Hold it two seconds and bring it down. Now this exercise is gonna be from 10 to 20 seconds, uh, repetitions, I'm sorry, from three to four set, um, sets. This is gonna be totally amazing for your body control and the strength of your core. It's gonna put you on fire after finishing those three or four sets. Okay, so next exercise, leg raises. Mary, please. You're gonna lay on your back. Uh, tips for this exercise. You're gonna keep your abs engaged. You're gonna try to look to your belly button. And start, Mary. When you start the exercise, the legs can't touch the ground. And the moment that you touch the ground, the abdomen stops engaging and you're not doing anything, okay? From three to six inches off the floor, this is gonna be from 10 to 15, 20 repetition, three or four sets. Uh, another variation for our leg raises, alternating our legs. Mary, please. Now, in this case, we're gonna keep one, both of the legs off the floor, okay? You're gonna start working with one, put it down, raise the other one, and down, okay? We're gonna, to make it a little bit more dynamic, we're gonna do, each leg is gonna do 10 to 15 repetitions to three to four sets. After finishing your repetitions, you're gonna hold both of your legs, get them together, you're gonna try to squeeze, like you feel like you have a knot between your adductors, you're gonna squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and hold and hold for five, from five to 10 seconds. So, next variation for our exercises, uh, for our core, V-sets. Now, you're gonna be totally relaxed on the floor and you're gonna go and sit on your sit bones to create this V-shape. When you get up, you go down and relax. Now this is gonna be from eight to 12 repetitions from three to four sets and down. Now you're gonna take, as an orientation, your hips and your belly button. When you go up, your belly button has to be always engaged. On your sit bones always. And up, Mary. One, and two, and three. Trying to keep this curve as less as possible. And then hip thrusts. A very important exercise and very basic for our adductors and the back, the big back part muscle group of our body, of our legs, okay? So this exercise is gonna be engaging your glutes and pushing your hips to the ceiling while engaging your abs and you're gonna feel your belly button go into your back, okay? So we're gonna go up and down. You're gonna take as a reference, pushing the seat as strong as you can, okay? This is gonna be from eight to 15 set, uh, repetitions from four to three sets, okay? Or from three to four sets. Second variation for our hip thrust um, exercise. You're gonna go up, Mary. One leg up, and down, and up, down, and up. Same sensation. Pushing the seat as strong as you can while pushing your hips to the ceiling. So uh, the repetitions in this one shouldn't be the same as if you were working with both legs, it's gonna burn a little bit more. So you can do it from five to eight repetitions each leg from two to three sets. Since we all trapped in our homes, we don't have the facilities of our studio to be comfortable and jump safely. We all have concrete in our houses. We're gonna take a mat so our knees doesn't, don't suffer so much. And we're gonna do in our ballet language, sautés in six positions, okay? As well as working the jump, we're gonna be working the cardio. Okay, now very important kids or fellow friends from ballet. Very important that you keep your knees aligned with your toes. When you go down, when you go up, you're gonna point your toes and you're not gonna jump so far from the floor. Just a little jump, pointing your toes and landing with your heels on the floor, that is very important, okay? We're gonna do eight sautés. We're gonna wait eight 
um, counts. And we said we're gonna add two more repetitions to the sotes, okay? So we're gonna start, Mary, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wait, eight seconds. Twelve, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and wait eight seconds. And fourteen, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eight seconds. Sixteen, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Rest 30 seconds, you can do from three to four sets of this exercise. Uh, another variation of this, of this exercise, I recommend it only for the advanced group to make it a little bit more difficult. Now we're gonna do a saute, change it to one leg, saute both legs and change it to the other leg. That's one repetition, okay? Mary, that'll be saute and one. That's one, and that's two. We're gonna do eight repetitions of these, wait eight counts, and then start over again. You should do from three to four sets of this exercise. And this combination is specifically for the boys, since again, we cannot do big uh, allegros at home or any big jumps. We're gonna continue working the sensation for the two alert. Six position, nothing big, by quarters, by half, and then single tooth in six position and specifically the head in the air for the spot Dan is going to show us one combination all around from quarters to half to single tooth okay five and six seven and eight e one s e e one cabeza en el aire e one e one e one E one spot in the air, son. One and go. E one half. 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 E one and stop. Five. Take this off. Five, six. Because we want to have ten issues, this is not going to happen. Seven and eight, e one stop five and seven and three. E one stop five and move the body, keep your head in the air. Yes, five and last one and go eight. E one up to the left, seven and go eight. Head in the air, up and seven and three. Keep it one good and seven and three. E one up. Keep the line on the six, A one up, and seven and eight there. We want to practice and a little bit, as much as we can, keep the shape of the two around there. So when we come back, we have a little bit of shape on it. <laughs> 